I'm getting ready to do the Aquarius reading. This could be you. This could be someone that you're attached to, someone that you have detached from. This could be someone who wants to come towards you, different people that they are attached to, different people that they have detached from. This is masculine and feminine energy, past, present, or near future. So you have to take what resonates and just leave what doesn't. Let's see, what do we have for Aquarius? Somebody is hurt about something. Like they're disappointed. Yeah, this could be about a breakup. Somebody is hurt over a breakup. Somebody walked away. They ended something out and separated from another person. You have family. And then proposal. Whoever this person is, this is someone who wants to offer someone something. It's like, this is someone who wants to build a family. And they want to offer that to someone else. It's like they want to offer that person commitment. You have hookup. And then text message. And then spiritual awakening. So this person have gotten enlightened about something. Like this person is getting ready to reach out to somebody. It's like they want to hook up with this person, but this is going to be like a love offer. They want to have an intimate moment with the person that they want to hook up with, like go towards this person, have a family with, and offer this person um, commitment with promote a uh, proposal being here. Yeah, fear. Somebody is afraid or scared. Yeah, because of this distance. Somebody distanced themselves from that person and now it's like they they were afraid of this this person setting some type of boundaries but it's like somebody ended up setting some yeah divine timing is here this was supposed to take place they were supposed to go through this spiritual awakening um set boundaries with whoever this person is and now they're um in fear yeah because this person started using their intuition person realized that they deserve better grass is greener and they found out the truth about something that was hidden with truth being here like some type of secret yeah between the lines so somebody did not want that person to see between the lines like they wanted something to stay hidden they didn't want that person to um realize that they deserve better um they could have been accustomed to this person being unhappy they didn't want this person to choose a better option for their self. Or go with their gut feeling. To like end something out. You have rolled the dice. Yeah. They definitely did not want someone to take a chance on moving forward. This was unexpected. This was a surprise. So it's like that person did something that they weren't used to. And this was their worst fear. Yeah, this was a karmic. Whoever this person is, this person was somebody that was very manipulative. So in the back of their mind, they always knew... I mean, they always fear that person going towards a whole nother direction or realizing that they deserve better. This was just unexpected. This person breaking up with them and um, walking away. Yeah, surrender. It's like that person ended up releasing this person and letting them go. It's like they gave up on whatever this was. And this was somebody's worst fear because they were being very manipulative. They would charm that person, constantly testing that person. And they didn't expect for this person to 
walk away like something is just over yeah divine intervention is here it's like somebody is going through some type of karma for whatever this manipulation is that they were using to be attached to this person you have liquid courage wow so they could have drunk with that person a lot and they were you know manipulating that person that way they could have been pouring something in that person's drink I'm so done. You have third party. This is somebody that always, um, it was always somebody else on the side. Like they were cheating on this person. Now you have single. It's like somebody, somebody did not want to be a third wheel anymore. So they decided to isolate their self from the situation. Um, set up healthy boundaries. Yeah, change is here. So they could make some type of change. This person is focusing on growth and then new love on the bottom of the deck. Yeah, somebody definitely moved on. They could have put this person in a third party situation and this person said three's a crowd and they decided to focus on growth. Change something in a cycle out with whoever this person is. Somebody is definitely receiving karma for some type of manipulation. Like they thought that this would last forever. Whatever this was that they were using to manipulate this person. And it's like by the time they tried to do it again, that person had to went through some type of spiritual awakening and th this was rejected. So this was something that was like unexpected. They didn't expect for something to just end out and be over. They thought that that person would never read between the lines. You have five of swords in the reverse and then the king of pentacles in the reverse and it's like somebody wanted to have somebody like in a low energy like somebody is very money hungry um yeah somebody could have stopped giving to a situation financially they said they were not going to keep sabotaging themselves You have the Queen of Swords. And then the Magician. I'm also seeing if it's, if this is somebody that um, they distance themselves from, or you could have distanced yourself from, take it where it resonates. Um, somebody have surrendered to something. It's like that person is no longer in the energy trying to, um, it's like they feel defeated or they feel like they can't defeat you. You're too intelligent. You're too smart. They can feel like that person is too intelligent. That person is too smart. It's like somebody is giving up. They don't have the funds to, to uh, fight whatever they're trying to fight anymore or do. So like somebody is going through karma. You have Knight of Wands. This is somebody that was being very immature. Will of Fortune. And whoever this person is that they were attached to and they broke up from, that person was determined to have this person in an energy where they would be very money hungry. King of Pentacles in the reverse. That person would lose a lot. And um, they were accustomed to that person not having anything or them taking whatever that person had or getting manipulating that person out of whatever they had. And they could have been using sex, like lust, to get what they wanted from that person. This person would not be in the five of swords determined to do something or determined to cut them off. It's like somebody just had a manipulative um, mindset. You have the nine of pentacles. Somebody is definitely in this. Yeah, it's like after separating their self from whoever this person is, they're, they're flourishing. They're prospering. Somebody is abundant on their own. Yeah, after walking away, eight of cups. 
walking away from a bad investment. Yeah, six of wands. Somebody definitely came out victorious. Seven of Pentacles. And then the Page of Cups. And for a long time, they could have felt sorry for that person. And that's why they stayed attached to that person for a long time. They could have wanted or thought that they were helping that person or wanted to help that person. And they didn't know this person, you know, never planned on um, changing. They're like a master manipulator. You have the Page of Pentacles. This is someone who definitely is very childish and they don't have much to offer. But they didn't want that person to realize that or see, th see this. Yeah, somebody is definitely. <laughs> you have the hangman popping out again in the reverse. Um, somebody is definitely enlightened. Temperance. It's like while they were trying to delay that person, they were getting enlightened. This person was getting more grounded. This person was being more patient with their self. They were praying about the situation. Wow. You have the five of ones popping out with a lot. Like somebody was trying to create a whole bunch of drama. You have the sun, the empress, and then the moon. Then you have justice. So if this is you and this Empress energy, you're someone that is definitely enlightened. Um, you could have knew what was hidden and you knew it was going to come to light. You knew karmic justice was going to be served. It's like you have a strong intuition. You're very intuitive. Yeah, somebody is definitely jealous of your light. Like your light irritates their demons. You have Ace of Cups. This person is jealous because you're someone that loves yourself. You're someone that takes care of yourself. The Empress is here. Yeah, it's like you're very creative. You're someone that is very abundant. Somebody don't like that. You have the Two of Pentacles and then the Two of Swords. Ace of Swords, yeah. Somebody was somebody did not want another person to see that they were jealous of you. Maybe this person was sitting back trying to secretly compete with you. And they were trying to hide this. They want that person to be unsure, so they figure if they secretly act like you or you know compete with you. This person will stay attached to them. Like somebody got desperate. Ace of Swords. But somebody ended up gaining clarity. Like this gave somebody mental clarity to end something out. You have the King of Cups. It made this person realize that they were in love with you. If that person was secretly trying to compete with you. Yeah, Queen of Cups. And then the Four of Wands. Yeah. It just made that person more and more um, want to be in a relationship with you. If they were attached to somebody that... Um, They knew that they were a third-party interference in a spiritual connection. That made this person more and more want to be in a relationship with you and not them. So it made this person end something out, go with their gut feeling, and um, release this um, situation. Now that person is going through some type of karma for... Something that they did to that person in the past. Like if they drunk with that person um, a lot, that person had to slip something like in their dream. And it's like once they tried to do it again, that person had already went through a spiritual awakening. They had already made their mind up that they um, deserve better. 
and they walked away. Now you have the King of Wands. This person is definitely seeing the bigger picture. They're more enlightened. It made that person more focused on you. You have the Nine of Swords and then the Death card. It's like somebody ended up exposing their self. And this is what ended a cycle out. And as I said, now they're going through their karma for something that, they, that was hidden. Yeah, they're going through their karma. Because they did something in the past and that person, they didn't know. And the more and more this person was, you know, trying to secretly compete with you or act like you, copy you. It made that person more and more realize that they were in love with you and they wanted to be in a relationship with you. You have balance. So something is definitely being balanced out. Emotional. And then facing jail time. So yeah, something has come back around. Like something is being balanced out. Somebody is getting ready to go to jail for something. And they're all in their emotions. Yeah, they did something out of desperation. This person is somebody that was very desperate. They were going through some type of financial lax. And um, they could have did something illegal. And now they're facing jail time. Seeing a, Somebody is seeing something for what it is. Then you have federal case. Yeah, somebody is wrapped up in some type of federal case. This person could have did, as I said, something fraudulent. They were desperate to get money. Yeah, now that somebody is saying something for what it is, right path is here. I'm so done. Somebody definitely, you know, chose to chose the right path or get on the right path. So that person is going through a lot of karma. Caught up. Yeah, this person ended up getting caught up. Growth is here. Yeah, somebody somebody realized they were attached to somebody that was only them in their light, and they want growth. They want to be able to make progress. You've changed. Then you have addictions. Somebody could be uh, struggling with some type of addictions. Then you have successful. Yeah, it's like that person could have made, you know, made this change after going through this awakening and somebody is still dealing with some type of addictions. Somebody could have also um, changed from some type of addiction. So they could have cut some type of bad habit, some type of addiction because they want growth. You have powerful ancestors. So you're definitely someone who has powerful ancestors. This person could be someone that have powerful ancestors. Sneaky. And then wrong path. Yeah, it's like somebody thought they were going to be very sneaky to keep somebody on the wrong path. And um, they didn't know this person was somebody that had powerful ancestors. Yeah, you have warned in here. Like, somebody was warned. I'm so done. Now they're suffering in silence. Because they didn't take heed. Somebody just thought that they were going to be, you know, able to do something and get away with it. Like, be very sneaky. 
Yeah. Somebody found out you're their twin flame while they were on the wrong path. This person. This person could be a Pisces. And then you have hidden enemy. Yeah, black magic. Somebody was definitely, somebody definitely gave this person something and they didn't know they were playing with black magic. This was a karmic soulmate. Then you have confidence. Yeah, this person was, you know, confident that this would work. They didn't expect to go through this bad karma. They didn't know that they were setting their self up. Yeah, because this, this is somebody that was that was doing a lot, a lot of using a lot of trickery. And they were using spell work. Now this person is wrapped up in some type of federal case. They're going through financial lacks. Yeah, this is somebody that definitely needs to move on. But it's like they can't because this person ended up getting caught up in a whole nother situation. They don't have anywhere to go. Wow. These are the type of people that, you know, they are desperately trying to get money for the time being. And they'll do anything to get some quick money. As quick as they get it, as quick as it's gone. And they don't have anything to show for whatever it is that they, you know, obtain because they didn't get it in the right way. Yeah, everything backfired. Then you have haters. Everything backfired on these people, different people that hated you because your light irritates their demons. Yeah. It's like this person sees that you're someone that's an influencer and they thought they were going to be able to block your blessings. Researching is here. As I said, whatever that person was doing, because they could have had a lot of people helping them. And this is why haters popped out. Like a bunch of people came together to hate or be jealous of one person. Because karma was hitting another person and they knew why that person walked away. But they didn't expect it. They thought that whatever they did in the past, this black magic was going to work forever. The more and more they kept doing whatever they were doing, the more and more they kept secretly competing with you, trying to gang up a whole bunch of people to sit back and hate on you, the more and more that person wanted to be in a relationship with you, the more and more that person wanted to research and um, get enlightened. Yeah. You have Taurus here. One of these people could be a Taurus. And then very intuitive. Yeah, the more and more this person realized you were someone that was very intuitive. So if you weren't that person, um, they realize that you're someone that uses your intuition and you always go with your gut feeling. They realized that they were attached to a hidden enemy and they needed to separate from that person. Yeah, somebody definitely learned a life lesson. And another person is going through bad karma. 